Hi, I'm Mark Edward Lewis from Cinema Sound. We're here in Cinema Sound Studio B, and I've been talking about the Slate Digital Raven touchscreen interface for a couple of years and how great it is for especially Pro Tools and Logic and Nuendo, Cubase, people who have digital audio workstations that are supported by Slate Digital. And I've been yelling at them to get support for Audition for, well, at least a year, probably longer. And they're working on it for sure. But until then, is there any value in buying a Raven? Well, certainly not as much value as those who have supported digital audio workstation software. But I want to show you some cool things that the, my friends at Slate Digital showed me that are possible, even in Adobe Audition when it's not supported, from an editing standpoint in the edit window. I know you're like, wait, what? But watch this and see if you don't want to go rush out and buy yourself one of these right away. All right, let's take a look at Adobe Audition in the Raven MTI. Right now you're just looking straight down on the screen here and I'll try to stay out of the way uh, and you can just see my hands. So even though this is not supported by the Raven, the good folks at Slate Digital, it doesn't mean that the Raven isn't incredibly useful. Let me show you. So just using basic commands, the basic commands, we can touch, we can select, we can certainly select different tools. We can jump into the windows here. Let's just go to the time tool here. Let's see here for a second and jump around like this. And you know, pretty, pretty awesome stuff. Also, you've got the ability to do your regular Mac or PC options that are available to you. This is actually just a triple tap. So if I triple tap with three fingers, I can then go to the application switcher and switch around. Um, also, another one of the commands that I can do, which is really nice, is take two fingers here and slide down and it'll save. I don't know if you saw that, but it saves. So while you're working, you just go bam and you're, just, you're, you're saved already. But let's drop into some of the other really cool things that you can do. First of all, I'm just going to use my left hand so I'm not uh, messing with you all here and blocking it. You can do all this and scrub and while at the same time having your other hand on play, so you're just right in the middle of what you want to be doing. But of course, Audition will scrub with you, which is super cool. And then nested into the interface is the ability just to zoom in almost to the, to the sample level. And then, of course, back out, which is really, really obviously awesome. In fact, with this touch and drag capability using the built-in Audition stuff, you can either click on this edge of our little zoom box here and make it wider. But with the Raven, it's actually way easier just to scroll. And notice I can scroll up and down or left and right. I'll use this finger. And it'll still do the scroll. So it doesn't matter which axis you're on. Now here is something really cool. If I want to, let's say, cut in to one of these transients here, just for a zoom, you can just see the, there's a bunch of transients. So what I can do is come over here, use the time tool, and I can zoom in, click, and here's a, you know, a reasonably good attack. Let's say I just really want to get that attack. So I can do this a bunch of different ways. I can scrub until I get to the attack that I want. Then as long as I have this clip selected, from there I can just take two fingers and rotate them and cut. Notice now that that has been cut. Let's say I want to get this right there. I can do the same thing. Touch. And now I can take this clip anywhere I want to go once, of course, I have the correct tool. There we go. And I can take this clip out and move it anywhere I want to go. There's another really cool way and maybe even better way of doing this. This would be like, you know, mimicking how we would do it in normal life, just cutting around with a mouse or whatever. Um, I can also undo by using three fingers and squeezing, or redo by splaying, out, whatever. But let me show you something else that's super cool. So we're gonna zoom out here. Let's say I wanted to truncate the front of this clip. Well, I can actually do like we normally do and just take this and, and do, you know, like we do with the normal mouse and things, and that's fine. Or I could use what I just showed you, which is going here and selecting, make sure I've got the clip selected, and go like this and then I can get rid of it no problem or what's way cooler is to be able to have this here and with two fingers I can swipe to the right and it will 
truncate the opening of the clip to wherever the play marker is. So it's similarly, if I wanted to go to the end here, over here and zoom in, let's see here. Let's go back a little bit. Okay, there's the clip that I want. And let's say I wanted to cut it way over here, just for laughs and giggles. Once this is here, I can swipe two fingers to the left and it will truncate the right side. So if I really wanted to go crazy, I could do two fingers to the left and then bring the intro all the way to here. Undo, undo. Now here's something else that's cool. Let's say I, I had this and it, was, it had been cut. Uh, we're gonna cut it, we're gonna get rid of it. And I wanted to make you know, some kind of a crossfade that I wanted to go to there. As long as the, uh, the incoming audio would go to there, I could obviously, well not drag it like that, but take this like we normally do and go like that. That's fine, no problem. Or I can say, I wanna just place this here and then make sure this is selected and two fingers to the right from the, uh, sorry, two fingers to the left and it will jump the out point creating a crossfade for me already, which is super dope. Again, I can save by two fingers down. Another thing that I've done, which is really cool, is I've set it up so that you can have two fingers that drops you between the mixer, which also gives you this really cool control over faders, right? Now, the reason we know that this isn't supported is because on a normal Raven platform, you would be able to cover and control lots of these faders all at the same time, but because it's not, you're stuck with the regular mouse control, which isn't always the most accurate, but it's way better than dragging it with a mouse. I mean, uh, you know, yeah, with a mouse. And I can go back up two fingers and I'm back here in this view. So the ability to use the Slate Digital Raven in Audition, even though it's not really supported uh, for all of the creative uh, stuff that it's got is really really cool oh let me show you one other thing double clicking two fingers like let's say i wanted to go into the waveform view just tap and it will take you there bam and then to go back obviously you double click again and you're over here always with the ability to go to the mixer and you can set this up with key commands in any way you want for example the regular key commands that we have here you just set these up just like you normally would and then what you do is you go to what's included. This is the UPDD gesture settings, and it deals with the taps, the presses, the drags, and the swipes. In fact, you can see here, here's um, two finger swipe down, keystroke command S for save, um, and this is uh, moving the out of the clip to the play marker and in of the clip pinch and rotate here I've got uh, command shift a for deselect which you're always wanting to do deselect all and then command K for cutting it's a really really easy thing to do and you just save it per app and you're good to go just coordinate it with your key commands here so that's that's basically the amazing part of what the Raven can do for you in any digital audio workstation obviously it supports several but with audition not yet fully supported but super cool let me show you one other thing so here is the pan window and while you're in automation let's just go here let's go to touch I'll zoom in solo let's go to some dialogue okay now that we've got it out of solo out of the center let's undo once it's in the center you can't actually automate it here we go Captain. And you have now finally, thank goodness, the ability to do this with your finger. That I didn't expect. She's good. And to play it back. Both recommended for commendations. Sharp and deep, Captain. So awesome. So, you know, panning all of a sudden becomes, uh, uh, you know, unbelievably easy to do. So anyway... Slate Raven, the MTI-2, with Adobe Audition. Is it faster than using a mouse? Well, yeah, totally. Is it faster than using a digital audio workstation that's supported by Slate Raven Digital? No, but generally speaking, in the edit window, this is no different than what you would get if you had support in the Raven for your digital audio workstation. The support obviously gives you, you know, multi-touch fader control and a whole bunch of other control over your mix window and some other cool things. But for now, it's super cool to have a Raven and the amount of production uh, capability, and by production, I mean clients walking in and going, whoa, that's cool, 
The amount of, of cool chutzpah that that gives you is so off the charts and well worth the $9.99 price tag. If you've got a Raven and you're using it in a really cool way or you've got a set of gesture commands that you want to help everybody else in the cinema sound community have, wow, we'd love it. Go post it on the forum at cinemasound.com or here on the blog. Until then, we'll see you in post. Even if you're